So ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Go. So when you uh, start the swing, you are leaning th this way slightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But after that, your right leg action is a bit weak here. Okay. So uh, have to leaning this way. So when you start the back swing, you have to use the right leg kicking the ground and then bring this up mm -hmm. instead of using the arms and try to go up mm -hmm. here. So this initial lean is not well connected to uh, the beginning of the back swing. Okay. Down the line view here. Yeah. Go. So still mostly you are generally standing tall here and they're using the arms to bring Upper it back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do is the so-called two-step swing drills. Okay. And then by doing the two steps, you are developing the rhythm naturally here. So stage, uh, there are three stages. Stage one, you take two steps. So uh, initially throw the club toward the target. So this is called the trigger motion. Using the club, you will do the trigger. Throw and then step away, back swing here, and then step toward, and then swing. Okay. So see if you can take these two steps. Okay. You don't have to swing hard, but uh, try, try to feel the rhythm. So start with the start with the both feet together. So here, and then throw step away in the swing. Again. Mm -hmm. And then as you do that, one thing you have to remember is that it's not just shifting laterally here, but as you shift. Drop the right side slightly and then push the ground okay. up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not the whole body going down like this, but rather drop the right side. So you currently, when you start the back swing, you drop the right side slightly, right? Okay. So just to do that, and then drop this and then push and then. Now, now, let's do this, let's do this. So let's say from the trigger motion here, mm -hmm. so throw the club this way, mm -hmm. and you have to uh, push the ground with the left leg here yeah. as you throw this. And then, as you step back, mm -hmm. and, uh, delay the opening of the body. Okay. First, you have to shift to backward here. Okay. Naturally, you will have uh, the knee flexed here. Right. Then it's easy to push the ground. Push the ground yeah, and then create this turn. Yeah. Push and then turn the body here. So the shoulder turn is coming from the leg action here. Okay. Instead of just turning your upper body. Yeah. I feel so much force there. Yeah, yeah. So load that side and then push. That push, after the push, you turn the, the body. Yeah, so, yes. So instead of uh, using the upper body turn here, mm -hmm. by Pushing this side, push and then throw the club around your body. Hmm. So let's go to let's do this. Let's go to stage three with no step. I, I think it'll be a bit easier. Okay. So use your regular stance, mm -hmm. but throw the club toward the target. Throw the club toward the target, and then as you shift the back, delay opening of the chest. And then, so from this position, throw the club, and then now the shoulder is turned this way, mm -hmm. and then shift backward here. Gotcha. Then naturally, the right knee will be bent here. Yeah. And then by pushing the ground with the right leg, then turn around the body. Yeah, just, uh, just uh, let it go, and then as you will repeat this, you will automatically develop good rhythm. So uh, use the trigger, a good trigger, mm -hmm. again, 
<laughs> yeah, it's a bit uh, too cautious. So uh, just uh, just feel the flow. Just feel the flow. Okay. Mm, mm, swing. That's the most mechanically correct way to do it for what you're saying from there. It moves the ankle and it moves the hip at the same time. Uh, so uh, what, what happens is that in order to use the ground well, you have to use the knee joint well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because in order to push the ground, you have to extend the knee. Uh -huh. So, And then in order to uh, use the knee well, you have to first flex the knee and then okay. extend, right? So if you want to go uh, up, then you have to drop the body first. Right. So if you want to extend the leg, then you have to flex the leg first. So, um, so let, me, let me show you this. So don't have, it doesn't have to be that cautious. Okay. So just let it flow, OK? Just let it flow. Mm. So here, mm. <coughs> active back swing. But that should come from the body turn, which is coming with the leg, actually, instead of the, using the arms. So if you just give enough uh, throw here, mm -hmm. using that, if you start back swing, then it'll be easier. Yeah, again. And no need to intentionally try to turn this way here. No. Just the push. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's getting better now. Better. It's getting better, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the bottom line is if you keep the body so uh, you know, almost at the same height here, you don't have a, a lot of uh, vertical motion, right. then you are losing this precious uh, you know, okay. uh, resources here. Okay. So the legs are you know, important engines here. Okay. So try to have the, this uh, up, up, up and down feel here. Mm -hmm. Again. And then still, when you go back, you tend to pull the arm here. Instead, go here and then turn the body. Turn the body by using the lower body and then kick in the turn here. So try to actively turn the body. Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah, now, as he repeats, uh, obviously, it's getting better. Yes. Now, the only thing now here is that, so as you go back here, stay a bit longer on the right side here. Okay. So don't rush down. Okay. Give enough time, and then in the meantime, you can slightly move backward, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then as you drop, and then just turn around. Yeah, yeah. So the more you use the lower body, the easier this becomes. Uh, it's, a, it's a little too cautious. So try to reach out as much as possible here. Throw, bring it back actively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big arc. So timing-wise, uh, it'll be like this. So throw this. Mm. Bring it back here. Mm. Bring it back and then go. Try it. You're doing good. It's just so different. So instead, and also, instead of just uh, letting the club go like, like this here, yeah. try to move the body, turn the body, and then throw the club. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again. So as long as you find a good timing, that this will be actually really natural here. So you don't have to intentionally control a lot of things. So ride the rhythm. So just to have a little bit of up and down feel here. Ooh, up and then up. Mm -hmm. 
again. Mm -hmm. And here, mm -mm -mm. here. So in the back, the back swing should be even faster than. So instead of instead of trying to put a lot of effort in the downswing, try to have more effort in the back swing. Okay. So when you have really active back swing, the downswing will be automatically active. So, um, so the goal is to make really active. I'm trying to I'm going a little slower just to try to feel that. I've never and then, really yeah, when you have the intention to make the back swing really fast, then automatically you use the right leg. So try to have a really active back swing. Like that, yeah. Better. So make the back swing faster. Now, <laughs> the back swing should be connected to the down swing. So it's not just a throw here and then you don't care. Rather, ooh, ooh, right? Yeah. So using so this, patience. using this wind up here and then let it go. So that should be connected to the downstream. So fast enough, but uh, using the backswing, you are making an active downstream. Mm -hmm. So you really need to have the feel of uh, connecting the backswing to downstream here. So ooh, let it go. And also, the timing of the body motion and the wrist motion is slightly off. So because you have this intentional wrist motion here. So you have to wait until this is completed here and then throw instead of quickly moving the body. So you have to time the, uh, the body action and then the club motion. Yes, it's better time. Better, better connection. Yeah. And then the transition, uh, the transition is a bit too quick. Yeah. So while still, the, while the, still the club is going this way, you try to come down. Yeah. So keep a bit more time at the top. So wait until that is completed. Yes, that's better time. Better time. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. It's a lot better timing now. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, when you start the downswing before this is completed, then what happens is um, you cannot have the support from the body because your body motion and the color motion is the opposite. The club is still going that way. You try to uh, come I down. I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you give a bit more time here, wait till this is completed, and then let it go using the body motion. Yeah. Mm. The timing is now a lot better. So again, you still have to make uh, hundreds, hundreds of uh, more swings. So uh, you have a long way to go. Yes, now that's the, that's the timing. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, yeah. So no rush. And then when the timing is right, then you also use the, the lower body better. But, be, be, but if the timing is off, then yeah. these are all just moving on their own. Mm -hmm. yeah. so and then it's if, just my strength, my brute strength. I'm, yeah. yeah, so imagine a swing here. When somebody is riding a, a swing, it comes up here, wait until this is done, and then you push no, instead right. of trying to. It's not right, it's not here. And, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of going against it. Sure, it's, it's not a. That's not, hmm. it's gotta be, gotta be. So unless you are, you are, you are really hitting the ball with your arm strength here, make the back swing a bit short here, and then just use the arms and try to hit the ball, then it may be justified. Some of the PJ Tour players, they do that, so using the muscles. But yeah. because you need the big back swing, right. the range of motion Rotation, here. Yeah. So when you have a large range of motion, then if the timing is off, then it's hard to uh, you know, really help the upper body turn by using the low bar. So you have to wait until this is completed yeah. and then let it go. So almost like uh, mm, develop tension, yeah. mm, then let it go.
instead of rushing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so again, so timing is uh, what's really important in, in terms of rhythm here. Yes. And then the same idea here. From the trigger to backswing, you are starting this backswing before this is completed. Uh -huh. So go here and then wait until this is completed, mm -hmm. and then start the backswing. Gotcha. So in the transition, when the direction changes, you have to uh, give enough time. Yes, yes, yes. So if you rush here, you tend to rush there. All right, so the timing is going to be off. Yeah. The rhythm is going to be Always off. when the direction changes, then in the transition, you have to give enough time. So you don't rush. Right. So wait that until sense, yeah. yeah, wait until this is completed and then <clears throat> and then wait and then let it go. Mm -hmm. That's the back swing is too cautious. Yeah, yeah. It's be too slow. Yeah. Yes. Now, let's change this a little bit. So instead of going that far in the trigger motion, you're only going about this much here. Okay. Go about this much here. But still, you have to wait until this is completed, right? Yeah. So give enough uh, transition time. Mm, and then, now, because this motion is small, if this is, this is big, then it's easy to develop faster backswing motion here. But if this is small, then you don't have this range of motion here. So then you have to use the right leg more actively <clears throat> here. Okay. So by reducing the trigger here, you have to use the right leg more actively in the backswing. So go about here. <clears throat> yeah. Still wait, still wait. So here, <clears throat> and then. <clears throat> so the right leg should have a more active push using this push and then you're turning here. So almost like this here. So, mm, 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 using the right leg. Uh, more actively, it was, too, it was uh, slow. Mm -hmm. Again, so the whole idea here is that by reducing the size of the trigger motion here, you are going closer to a regular swing. So when you have a big uh, trigger motion, it's easy, it's easy to develop yeah, active motion. But then by reducing this side, but by engaging the right leg more, you will have a active action. Yes, yes. The timing is really good here. Mm -hmm. So now what you do is using smaller trigger motion here, but using the left leg, you start this motion and then decide to push it here. Okay. So uh, we need to uh, gradually decrease so the trigger motion. On this. Right. So as you do, feel the, just the natural uh, rhythm here. This is not something uh, special here. So mm, mm -hmm, here, mm, mm -hmm, here, mm. <clears throat> if you will recall what the Kyle Berkshire yeah, does yeah. here, yeah, and he goes thing. like this here, yeah. but similar. Now make a backswing a bit uh, faster, more rigorous in the uh, in the backswing. Faster. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I feel like I want to take it back with my arms though. Not my body. So, so that's why you have to, with, even though this is small, but you have to use the body. Yeah. Turn the body, and with that start the backswing. So although the club motion is smaller, but you have to use the body similarly. Oh, rushed, rushed it down. 
So instead, try to have a, a, a lot of effort in the back swing. Ooh, and the weight, and then let it go. Mm -hmm. But it can be, it can go uh, faster. So your back swing. Now let's make a bigger, bigger trigger motion. Let's make, make a bigger trigger motion. And then have really fast back swing. Yeah, so when you have a bigger trigger motion, and naturally you have a faster back swing, yeah. then the flow is a lot better. So let's mix these. So big trigger motion once, and the small trigger motion once, yeah. you repeat. So big and then small. Mm. So as you repeat, you have to, your body has to learn the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then small trigger motion. And then similar rhythm. So when your back swing slows down, then you tend to use your arms on the way down. So using almost like a doing the back swing, you have the feel of uh, throwing the club. So you have to give it enough speed so they let the club go. So mm, mm, let it go and then swing. Yeah, if uh, back swing is slow, then you tend to use your arms because your body is not winding up enough. Right. So again, big trigger, ones and the small trigger ones. Repeat. Mm -hmm. That flow is really good. Yes, yes, that was uh, better, but still you could speed up more. So always when you have a bit faster back swing, the flow is a lot better. So again, big trigger and a small trigger. Mm, that was good, that was good, that was good. So, uh, but make it, uh, make it fast enough so that throw the club around your body. Yes, yes, yes. And then throw the club around your body and give a bit more time here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that when you start the swing, when you start the swing, you never go from this stationary position here. Right. So you have, your body will move slightly here. Mm -hmm. The best way to move is not this one here, right. but rather shift and push this side, and shift and push this side, shift and push this side, yeah. and then you can go right. back swing. Okay. But if you go this way here, yeah. then the connection here is uh, awkward right. here. Right. So always uh, shift and then stand up here, shift and stand up here, you have to have that feel here. So shift and stand up this side, shift and stand up this side, shift, shift and stand up this side. When you have this rhythm in your body, right. then it's a lot easier. So it doesn't have to be big motion. Slightly push and stand up this way, slight push. If you have this kind of motion here, then you can easily start the back swing. Yeah. Push and then go up. Stand on this side, and then stand on this side. Yeah, so when you are always practice that kind of motion here, yeah. push up here, push up here, then here, slight, push this side here, and then go. Yeah. It's a lot easier. But if you actually go this way, it's a kind of awkward right. to connect it. Yeah, so always, uh, Always shift and push this side, shift and push this side, push this side. When you have this rhythm, essentially it's this here. And then, mm, mm, let it go. So you need to have this up and down feel here. Okay. Again, larger trigger and small trigger. Mm -hmm. The timing is a lot better. Uh, every swing is nice better. 
Yes. And then when you do that, if it's too jerky, then what happens? You have disconnection right. between this motion and this motion. So right. always remember, the reason why uh, we want to have this active back swing is to mm, wind up and then let it go here. Yeah. So still, this is fast enough, but mm, let it go. Instead of whoop, whoop. Right. it's uh, disconnected, right? So always have to connect the back swing to the down swing with this so you have to connect to this. So whether you have a larger trigger or a small trigger, you have to connect the back swing to down swing. And sometimes the saying this it helps if you make the sound correctly. So uh, go, Eddie, go. And with this uh, exaggerated eddy, you are connecting the back swing to down swing. So it's not just a throw and then, you know, relax and then try to do this. Rather, mm, just wind up and then let it go. So again, let's do the big trigger and the small trigger. So try to connect the back swing to down swing. Mm -hmm. So as you do this, uh, you are using your body more and more. Yes, 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 yes. Now, even, even with a smaller trigger, the connection is better. better. You have a faster backswing. So it's just a matter of uh, just reps. Yeah, yeah, repetition here. And then your body will automatically learn yeah, the flow. Yeah, sure, I definitely. When I first started, it was a little awkward, but it's, yeah. it's, I can feel. Yeah. Once I can feel it, I'll be fine. Yeah, so uh, uh, instead of using the arms and try to swing faster here, mm -hmm. You can always use the body. Yeah. So uh, the big job is done. I feel my, my core already. Yeah. Big job is done by these big muscles. Who's and that? then big job is done by the big muscles. And the small job is done by the small muscles. So direction control, these are done by the arms. But the big one, generating the power speed and speed, power. has to come from the lower body. Okay. So, uh, and then, you know, without the club, try to sort of have a rhythmic yeah, motion like all the time. Rhythm, like rhythm. Now, because uh, just the swing in the club, you know, again, again is a bit uh, tiring. So, now let's swing the rope here, okay? Mm -hmm. The goal here is uh, to uh, generate fast motion of the end of the rope. So, uh, mm -hmm. both ways we have to keep enough speed. Swing, mm, swing. Mm, swing, mm, swing. So try to use the body. Swing back and forth continuously. When I first did it, that's all I uh, saw. So, so if they feel the motion of the end of the rope, pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. Wow, my arms really fucking swing. Right? <laughs> Excuse me. So. So initially, initially, just to have a continuous swing back and forth. You don't have to swing hard, but uh, try to have a continuous swing back and forth. I don't know if I can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back swing is too slow, so speed up back swing. And then let it go. <laughs> Again, just to use, just repeat it maybe about five times. Already it's getting better, so. Faster back swing, faster back swing. Now here, so what's happening is before this is completed, you're going down here. Yeah. Make sure you wait so that the rope comes here. Finish the back swing and then the down swing. Particularly with the rope, you have to give enough time in the transition. Mm, back swing too slow, back swing too slow. So let's uh, try to put more effort in the back swing. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Yep. Faster back swing, faster back swing. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> faster back swing does not mean rush, the, rush into the down swing here. Yeah. This motion is fast, but you have to have enough time. So here, fast motion, but wait until this happens. And then let it go. 
mm, and then let it go, mm, and then let it go, mm, and then instead of so let it go, mm, and then let it go, mm, and then let it go. So while the rope is uh, wrapping around your body, you can give a bit more shoulder turn here. Okay. And then give more time. And then when the backswing is matured, then go to downswing. <laughs> so again, again, this is how you uh, view this. It's not about your hand motion here. It's all about motion of the end of the rope. So if you wanna move the rope the way you want, you have to feel the motion of the end of the rope here. Yes? Here. There you go. Swing around, swing around, swing around. But if you don't pay attention to the motion of the rope, just to move the hands, then this happens. You have to feel the motion of the end of the rope. This is part of your body. And then let it go, swing. Yeah, feel the motion of the end of the rope. As if now you're holding a baby, so you have to be very careful. Feel the motion of the end of the rope. Make the backswing a bit faster, but wait until it wraps around you. Yes, yes, yes. Good connection. Yes. Let it go. Let it go. And then increase the speed both ways. Let it go. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to increase the speed in the downswing, all you need is to give a bit more shoulder turn here. And with this, the body is slightly shifting in there from there. Let it go. Mm, let it go. So the wind up determines how you know, rigorously you can swing in the downswing. But uh, it's a lot better now. Yeah. Everybody in this room agrees. Make your backswing a bit faster. Mm -hmm. And if you keep uh, good gaze control, then it will be less easy. <laughs> so when your gaze moves here, yeah, then you lose the balance. Okay. So swing, mm, and then swing, mm, and swing, maintain the gaze. Mm -hmm. Good backswing, a bit faster backswing, and then yes, wait until it's, this wraps around your body. Let it go. Let it go. Now your body works a lot better because you are waiting until the rope goes around your body. Then have that feel. Swing now the club back and forth, and then still uh, think that you are you are swinging a rope. Okay. Wow. Image that uh, you are still uh, rotating, uh, you are swinging a rope, and then don't fight, but wait until this is completed and then let it go. Keep swinging back and forth. Feel the motion of the clever, yes. Yes. Yeah. So your body is now <laughs> moving better. So it's, so it's not just the arm motion, but you have to move your body and then let it go. Yeah. Mm, and then let it go. So the rope, that rope is great. will give you a good feel here. So this is yours. Oh, thank you, doctor. Hmm. I'll give it away thank about four okay. So how much more can you go uh, today? You're already tired? I'm tired. So what, because, because now you know that the, the rhythm, and that we already saw uh, the timing has changed. Yeah. So uh, as long as you feel that, and it's just, uh, you know, augment it. So yeah. uh, by dancing, dancing, and then let it go, wait enough time here. Yeah. Mm, and then let it go. Yeah. Mm, and then let it go. Mm -hmm. That naturally gives you a good uh, body rhythm. Yeah. So just to keep working on it. Yeah. It's all about rhythm. For sure. Mm. And then that way you can use the, your strength and your whole body 
better. And then efficiency, and then it'll be even yeah. It'll be yeah. even easier. Efficiency and the effectiveness both. Yeah. So you know your, your your body size, your strength, you have to actually take advantage of all those, but then everything will will come together if you have good Lower body, body rhythm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the rope swing, try to feel the motion of the end of the rope. Okay. Yeah. As you swing, yeah, the rope, not right. so the rope is part of your body. So the goal is to move the end of the rope fast here. Yeah. Throw, mm, and then throw, mm, and then throw. That the more wind up you have, the easier to go down fast. And then when you swing the club continuously, feel the similar rhythm, let it go, mm, and then let it go, mm, and then let it go. Then one cycle here, swing, the smaller trigger, mm, and the swing. You can manipulate the size of the trigger, but timing should be similar. So whether you have a big motion here or a small trigger here, Timing should be similar, so you don't rush. And then emphasize the leg action and down. connect the back swing to the down swing. That's the key. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I understand it for mm, sure. Mm, mm. Just taking a little bit. Today, uh, you know, it's just, uh, in this may be 30 or 40 minute period, your rhythm has improved quite yeah, a bit. More sound, more sound. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be really good. Very good, very good. So you see the flow here. So, so when you, when you repeat, when you you can repeat the motion continuously, that means that you are you have a full control here. So you don't let the body to go too far, okay, out of rhythm. So you you maintain the rhythm continuously. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.